Hello and welcome to STEM with Mr N, where every week I perform different demonstrations and explain the science behind what we're seeing. This week I'm linking in with the current UNICEF Outright campaign as I show you how to make some simple STEM wind turbines. Let's check it out. The UNICEF Outright Campaign is an annual campaign which empowers young people to learn about and promote children's rights. This year, the focus of the campaign is on climate change. My school and some other schools that we are partnered with are currently taking part in Switch Off Fortnite, where we look to use as little electricity as we possibly can in our homes and in the school. So why is this important? Well, climate change is currently having a big impact on the world. And one of the main drivers of climate change is the type of energy that we as humans use. Humans, as a species, are very reliant on fossil fuels such as coal, natural gas and oil. The problem is, when these fuels are burned to create our power, they produce lots of poisonous gases into the atmosphere, such as carbon dioxide, which have a big impact on increasing the global temperature. These fuels will also eventually run out because they are non-renewable fuels. A lot of countries, to try and bring down their carbon emissions and combat climate change, are moving towards green renewable energy, such as solar power and wind power. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a simple stem wind turbine. For this, you'll need a paper cup, a wooden skewer, a straw, some string, a pair of scissors, some sellotape and some cardboard. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cardboard and cut out four rectangles from it which will all be roughly the same size. These are going to make up the sails of my wind turbine. Once I've got my four sails, I'm going to use my sellotape to stick these together and make them look like a plus sign. Now that I've got my sails made into a plus sign, I'm going to sellotape my wooden skewer onto my sails in a position where it is going to be able to turn these sails later on. Now that I've got the shaft of my wind turbine attached onto my four sails that are in the plus sign, I need to fix my wind turbine onto the edge of my desk. To do this, I'm going to tape the plastic straw to the edge of the desk and feed the wooden skewer down through the straw so that my sails are hanging off the edge of the desk. So now that's the first part of my wind turbine set up. But before I go on to the next step, I want to check and make sure that it will actually spin when it is blown by the air. To do this, I have a hairdryer sitting to the side. I'm going to turn it on and see if my wind turbine actually spins in the air. So you'll have seen there that my wind turbine is spinning when it's blown by the hairdryer. The wooden skewer is starting to slightly move through the straw, but that's okay because it's a long wooden skewer and as long as I keep an eye on it, it won't fall out the end. So now the first part of my wind turbine is a success, I need to move on to the next step where we can see this wind energy being converted into another form of energy. To do this, I'm going to take a wooden skewer and put two holes through my paper cup and I'm going to tie a piece of string onto my paper cup through these two holes. I'm going to tie the other end of this piece of string onto my wind turbine just behind my sails. This time, when I turn on the hairdryer, we're going to see this wind energy being converted into kinetic energy. So it's not quite electricity, but once we've seen this transfer of energy, I'll explain to you how actual wind turbines convert wind into electricity. So you'll notice that as the air from the hairdryer was spinning my wind turbine, the string was wrapping itself around the wooden skewer and it was lifting the cup up into the air. This is the wind energy that's blowing the sails round, converting into kinetic energy, which is the movement of the wooden skewer pulling the string and lifting the cup up into the air. An actual wind turbine works quite similarly. 
When the wind blows the sails of a wind turbine, it spins a shaft that is inside the wind turbine. This shaft spins quite slowly, but it turns some gears which spin another shaft which moves faster, and this powers the electric generator inside the wind turbine and produces electricity that can be used by businesses and homes. The state that the world is in right now, with the amount of carbon dioxide in the air as a result of the burning of fossil fuels, is quite critical. It is important that countries all around the world start adopting green fuel. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. As a UN accredited climate change teacher, this one has been quite a personal one for me and it's been great to link in with the UNICEF Outright campaign and help promote the campaign with a couple of schools, including my own, which are currently doing Switch Off Fortnite. As always, I would like to take this opportunity to answer any science questions you have about any science topics at all. So feel free to email me at stemwithmrn at outlook.com and I'll get back to you with answers to your questions. You can subscribe to the channel by pushing the button here and I've added links here to the other STEM demonstrations I've done so far. This has been STEM with Mr N showing you how to make a simple STEM wind turbine.